Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Mega Shadow Fist, and welcome back to Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. Somewhat sick edition. Apologies if I sound a little weird right now. My throat's kind of meh right now. It's, it's, I'm uh, right now, I'm, it's, it's the day before I get, like, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have a fever tomorrow, which I guess would be the day at the time, at the time that this goes live. So, yeah, if I sound a little weird for a little bit, I apologies for that, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and, so anyway, when we last left off, what we were doing was, um, we, like, we just presented something, and we actually stopped it. Actually, not the best time to end off an episode, but whatever. It was a nice cliffhanger, I think. So let's go ahead and hit continue. And, uh, slot one, if you don't, don't mind. Load the status, please. Anywho. You see, the Timothoro Jinxie saw held a staff in his hands. And she described its sound just like you did, as a kind of jangly sound. Yes, yeah, so he's holding a staff. What's your point? Objection. The point is that Timothoro doesn't use a staff, not normally. What are you talking about? You see, this is the only known document depicting Timothoro. Is there a staff in that picture, Mr. Filch? You're r you're right. There's no staff, not even a cane or a walking stick. <laughs> So, the question is, why does the witness think Timothoro uses a staff? I believe the answer will overturn the prosecution's case on the most basic level. Well now, this is getting interesting. Alright, Mr. Justice, it's time to show the court where you're, going, where you're going with this. Please tell the court why Mr. Filch believes Timothoro carries a staff. The scroll is wrong? He actually saw Timothoro. Filch has a scatterbrain. No, he actually saw Timothoro, right? Like, that would be the only logical outcome? Rita Mordio? Mr. Filch actually saw Timothoro right after the crime occurred. That's the only way he could possibly know about the staff. Busted again! Bloody hell, you de 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 little. Okay, so. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't even I don't even need to bloody hell. That's that's enough. Oh, by the way, oh by the way, about Simon Blackwell's English accent. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I should probably stop before Phoenix Edgeworth accidentally like accident accidentally curb stomps me. Yes, how that felt, Blackwell. Not so fun when you're on the receiving end of the blade, is it? What did he say, by the way? You de duplicitous, duplicitous little. Okay. Yeah, but bloody hell, come on. Anyway, admit it, Mr. Felch. You did see Timothoro that day, didn't you? Um... Uh... Well... I'm begging you, please don't make me say it! But clearly you did see Timothoro. Stop, stop stalling and testify to that fact! No can do! No way! No how! You ain't got no idea how terrifying he can be! Oh, he must be talking about, uh, whatchamacallit, LaBelle. He? Mr. Filch still won't admit to seeing Timothoro, even though everyone knows he did. The question now is, why? Mr. Filch is scared to death! Is that why he can't admit the truth? Hmm, come to think of it. They say you must not gaze upon Timothoro, but in the event that you do, do look, and then tell anyone what you saw, Timothoro will claim your soul. I th I honestly think he's more afraid of LaBelle than Timothoro, if I were to be honest. I honestly think, if I were to be honest, redundancy as usual. Jinxie would, would admit to seeing Timothoro after hearing about the village superstitions. She said that if she told anyone that she had seen Timothoro, her, he'd claim her soul. Wait, you think Filch believes that? Believes that too? Uh, so Mr. Big Time City Slick Slicker Lawyer has heard about him? Them old village superstitions? Will the defense please explain what the witness is talking about? The people of Ninetales Bell believe some pretty strange things. And their superstitions may be the reason our witness here can't admit the truth. By the way, this song... Isn't this the same song that was used in... I, I, like, I know, like, like, wasn't this also used in the original series, like, at, like, um, not Kudain Village, but, uh, what's, what's the one, what was the one with Bikini? Um, what was that place called? 
I forgot I forgot all of a sudden, but yeah. Isn't that the, isn't this the same song? Or it may I don't actually I don't think it is the same song. Maybe the bit it seems familiar to me for some reason. I mean I know that this is I know that this is the song that was used at Whatchamacallit, but I was trying to see if this is like a if this is like a remix version of an older song or not. Because they've done that they've done that before, like a couple times actually, as I've proven. Anyway, the truth that I really did see Timothy. Darn straight, that's why! It's all right here! Village superstitions. He actually has them codified. Do not gaze upon Timothy. Do not do not tell others if you see him. Ignoring the superstitions will cost you your soul. There is, however, one way to save it. Your your immediate departure from the village. Freeing him will bring ruin upon the village. Yeah, yeah, the the usual the usual stereotypical Japanese, you know, countryside superstitions. Ignoring the superstition will cost you your soul. See? That's why those folks in Nine Tailsville can't talk about seeing Timothy. Village superstitions added to the court record. Village superstitions. Superstitions that have been handed down generation to generation, Nine Tails Bell. That clears up one mystery. The killer took advantage of the superstitions by wearing a Timothuddle costume. They knew that the, they knew that they, they knew that that way no one could talk about him, so it was as if he never existed. The defense holds that this Timothuddle in person is the true killer. What? Hmm. Superstitions, you say? What kind of a fool would actually believe such rubbish? And with that, when that using some silly fairy tale so easily expose the culprit, you'll need to come up with a more rational, common sense explanation than that. Objection. Your common sense seems awfully narrow-minded to me, Prosecutor Blackwell. Oh! Do, 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 do. Try living in my world of narrow cells, mortal danger, and dark, sleepless nights. There's no lack of superstition in the clique, but few are those who truly believe in them. Objection! Well, the village superstitions are real enough to the people of Ninetales Vell. A life or death superstition might make even you a believer. Rar! <laughs> I kind of, I, I toned the I toned the scream down a little bit because well actually I don't I actually order order I say actually I'm kind of at the point now since I warmed up and everything and like the fever that I'm pretty sure I'm going to get tomorrow hasn't fully kicked in yet I can do all this recording without doing any real damage to my throat but at the same time I want I don't want to I don't want I I don't want to take any extra risks. Of course you know I say that and then I'm going to end up like forgetting all about that later on the recording session as per usual. You fool of a tanuki! Two times now, your lies have cost me. Sorry, sorry! I promise not to do it again. Taka, my fine feathered friend, have at him! Yipes! He's gonna eat me alive! Head for the hills! Dude, he freaking disappeared. Oh, okay. For I was like, whoa, he disappeared so quickly that like, you know, the sound happened after he disappeared. No, no, delayed sound. Yeah, I, I keep forgetting that sometimes. Ah, he took off. He can't be allowed to do that. Bailiff, what are you waiting for after him with your fastest men? They're the, that's certainly not something you see every day. And, I mean, sure, I mean, only Zach Amari can successfully run away, okay? No one else can do that. He's not a magician. Well, he is a thief, but he's not like Yathagarasi level, right? Or like, you know, Mad and Guard. Well, it would seem a new and important fact has come to light. A third party disguised the Yuokai Timothoro was at the sea. And now we have two witnesses who can attest to that fact. Oh, by the way, actually, I completely forgot about this. Way back when we first started this case, someone actually told me. Um. Okay, so, in Japanese, it's Yuokai, right? But one of my, one of my uh, viewers is actually a native Chinese speaker. And uh, he said that that sounds similar to Yao Gui. I believe that's I believe that's how um, it's supposed to be. Uh, not intonated. I believe that's how it is. It's like high tone and then like first tone, fourth tone. Yao Gui, I believe, is what he said it was. Which is interesting because if you play like the Fallout games, you know the Yao Gui. Yeah. Actually, what's even more interesting is um, I went up and I looked up Yao uh, Yao Gui. I looked it up and apparently it's actually written with this. Um, it's written with the same um, characters as Yuokai in Japanese, which I found to be interesting. It's always, 
quite interesting, I think, as someone who speaks Japanese to go and, like, look at, like, Chinese words and, like, see, like, the etymology, like, because, like, Japanese kanji come from Chinese, right? So, to, like, see those, to, like, see where, to, like, to see the origins and, like, to see, like, to see, to, like, to see how those Japanese words came from the Chinese, it's always very interesting to me. I don't know, it's one of those things. Anyway, and now we have two witnesses who can attest to that fact. Any objections, Prosecutor Blackwell? Shackles! Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. He's not actually carrying a sword though. <laughs> I'm too young to die! Or is he carrying a sword? <laughs> Justice Tunnel, long has it been since I've been forced to draw my blade. You had best say your prayers. Eek! I wonder if when this happens, like, the like the scene is loading or something, like, why, like, I don't know. Detective, do something! <laughs> Have no fear, Fulbright is here! When the, when the going gets tough, the champion of justice gets going! Objection. Then get going already, before he kills us! Oh, but I stand- Oh, but I stand in awe of Simon Blacko, for it is his sense of justice that set him free! OBJECTION! OBJECTION! I object to Detective Fulbright's definition of justice! Hey, you're the judge. What are you objecting at? Sometimes I get Fulbright and, um... Silence. So, there's the silence. SILENCE! Hmm. I'm not in the habit of cutting down on I'm cowards. Um, I sometimes get the Fulbright, vo Fulbright voice and the uh, Filch voice mixed up because they're they're the same accent, sort of just a little bit different. Like Bobby Fulbright's like this. It, it was originally supposed to, it was originally supposed to be an Elvis impersonation, but it eventually turned into something like this. Although they, it's not that different. Whereas uh, Filch is like this. Like he's kind of like um. Muh. I'm trying to think. Like it's like it's like a voice that I normally do, but I think I think it's kind of like the um. Like the really terrible Sam Regal impersonation, but with the slight southern accent, maybe a little bit deeper. Anyway, but sometimes I get them mixed up. <laughs> I already said that. Oh, well, in that case, Prosecutor Blackwell, can I ask you to, um, you know... I think the judge forgot he's in charge here. <laughs> he always does. No, the prosecutors are always in, the real, are always really in charge. So, Justice Turner's assertion is this, Timotoro is the real killer, not Mayor Tenma. According to him, there was a yorker at the scene of the crime. Right, and that yorker is, or rather, whoever was impersonating him, impersonating him, killed Ottoman Kyuubi. Silence. Silence. Ah! He doesn't exactly have an, a, a... Phoenix, I'm sorry Phoenix, I have to say it. He doesn't exactly have an accent when he says silence. Um... I notice. Um, someone did say that, like, there's this rumor that apparently, like, Edgeworth's. Uh, uh. You know what? Who cares? Okay, Edgeworth. Yeah, okay. Edgeworth and Blackwell's, uh, frickin', you know, um, objection. Objection sounds were switched and accidentally switched in the game because the uh, Blackwell's objection is supposed to match more of Edgeworth's. Personally, I think that's a load of hogwash. You know, I don't think that they were accidentally switched. It, it, just, it just is what it is. And yes, I believe there's been plenty of proof that Blackwell is actually English, so... You know, this is the last that I'm gonna say about it for now, like, legitimately. If you truly believe that he's American, you are only lying to yourself, I believe. Anyway, that's, that's all there I have to say about that. Can't explain why Jinxie being the first to discover the murder. Do not see your alleged killer yokai there in the fox chamber. What? He's right, she said nothing about Timotoro being in the fox chamber. Hmm. <laughs> Let me enlighten you. Well, the obvious solution to this would be that whoever the murderer was would be somebody who was supposed to be in there to begin with, who just so happens to be LaBelle, right? Right? 
It was LaBelle, QB, and uh, Timotho... Oh, uh, Mayor Tenma, right? So, you know, <clears throat> let me enlighten you. That little scamp had a dying scream right before she opened the chamber door. And your point is? Upon opening the door, she found a freshly skinned murder victim, the older man. And the homicidal ma maniac who had killed him, the mayor. No, no, there must have been some someone dressed like Tim- Ah! Then, why does that little scamp claim to not have seen Ryoka in the fox chamber? Hmm, considering her father is accused of murder. Surely she would have mentioned any third party that might have been in that room. Wasn't LaBelle so- I'm pretty sure- Am I making things up? I could have sworn LaBelle was also in there with them. I don't understand. Why didn't she see Tim Atado and sit inside the fox chamber? <laughs> there is but one way to find out. Ask Jinxie Timma whether she saw you look kill a yorka at the scene of the crime. Uh-oh. The final brat battle draws nigh. Only one of us will leave here alive. <laughs> long has my blade thirsted for blood. At long last it shall be sated. Wait, this is still a trial, right? What's it? Like I said, what's the difference, eh? Show me what you're truly capable of. Justice Donal. Very well then. Both parties no doubt need some time to regroup. So the court will take a 10 minute recess in order to... Ah! Three minutes. I'm sorry, but... A three minute recess. Just so. Plenty of time if your destination of intent is the, is the loo. The loo? You mean the bathroom? Is that really, is the loo really like an English-British slang for like a bathroom? Hmm. Because I've heard that before, but I didn't know that was actually like specifically, or maybe, yeah I did, what am I talking, no I didn't, yeah I didn't, no, no I didn't, no. I want to say that I did, but I also want to say that I didn't. Sheesh. At least include at least include enough time to wash our hands. Three minutes, dude. If you're just if you're just taking a piss, man, well that's plenty of time. See that you take no more than three minutes. All eight comers will be punished. Yes, sir. I hereby declare a three minute recess before the battle begins. Battle, he said. I declare Prosecutor Black with a win of this round of Simon Says. Doesn't bode doesn't bode well for us if the prosecutor's running the show, does it? Yeah, there's no Simon Says joke in the Japanese version, because his name isn't Simon. Sometimes, April 18th, 10.40 a.m., District Court Defendant Lobby number three. Like, I, I'm sure if you, I'm sure you've noticed as I, as I posted, like, some translations of, like, various things in the Japanese version. In a lot of cases, in my opinion, I think that the English translation is some, is more humorous in the Japanese version. That's just, it just is what it is sometimes. Just, like, the things that they say... Like, um, like, uh, like, you know, like, come, like, you know, like, um, like, um, like, for example, like, when Apollo was like, Apollo was like, oh, like, I really hope that those shackles are made out of titanium. He didn't say it in the Japanese version. In the Japanese version is like, oh, looks like those, looks like those, um, handcuffs saved me, I think. Which, honestly, like, it's funny, but it's not as funny as, like, I don't know. Anyway, I'll pass you guys in the next episode. Wait, no, what am I doing? This is this is this is not the end of the episode. Right, 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 right. I forgot. Ha, <laughs> you guys thought I was gonna do a 19 minute episode, didn't you? Or like a minute half like awkward pause now. He busted about us busted out of his shackles! Yeah, what was that all about? Guess they don't make shackles like they used to. Better be careful, Apollo! You've really brought brought out the Samurai in him! Especially after you proved there was a Tim a tunnel impersonated in the manor! Now, awkward pause to you guys in the next episode. <laughs>